I mean, look, I think Elon is, I don't think I'm even a great example, but I think Elon would be the great example of this, which is like, you know, look, he's a guy who from every, every day of his life, from the day he started making money at all, he just plows into the, into the, into the next thing. Um, and so I think, I think money is definitely an enabler for satisfaction. I, it was supposed to say, money applied to happiness leads people down very dark paths. Yeah. Um, <laughs> very destructive avenues uh money applied to satisfaction i think could be is a real tool um i always like by the way i was like uh, you know elon is the case study for behavior but the other thing that that's always really made me think is larry larry page was asked one time what his approach to philanthropy was and he said oh i'm just my my philanthropic plan is just give all the money to elon (laughs) (laughs) right uh well let me actually ask you about elon what what are your um you've interacted with quite a lot of successful engineers and business people. What do you think is special about Elon? We talked about Steve Jobs. What um, what do you think is special about him as a leader, as an innovator? Yeah, so the the core of it is he's a he's he's back to the future. So he he is he is doing the most leading edge things in the world, but with an with a really deeply old school approach. Mm-hmm. Um, and so to find comparisons to Elon, you need to go to like Henry Ford and Thomas Watson and Howard Hughes and Andrew Carnegie, right? Um, Leland Stanford. Um, John D. Rockefeller, right? You need to go to the what were called the bourgeois capitalists, like the hardcore business owner operators who basically built, you know, industri- basically built industrialized society. Um, Vanderbilt, um, and it's a level of hands-on commitment um, and uh, depth um, in the business, um, coupled with an absolute priority uh, towards truth um, and towards. Um, how to put it, science and technology uh, down to first principles. That is just like absolute, just, it's just like unbelievably absolute. Mm-hmm. He really is ideal that he's only ever talking to engineers. Like he does not tolerate bullshit. He has, he has mm-hmm. less bullshit tolerance than anybody I've ever met. Mm-hmm. Um, he wants ground truth on every single topic. Um, and he runs his businesses directly day to day, devoted to getting to ground truth in every single topic. So uh you think it was a good decision for him to buy Twitter? I have developed a view in life to not second guess Elon Musk. <laughs> I know this is going to sound cra- cra- crazy and unfounded, but well, I, I mean, uh, he's got a quite a track record. I mean, look, the car was a crazy. I mean, the car was. I mean, look, he's done a lot of things that seem crazy. Starting a new car company in the United States of America, the last time somebody really tried to do that was the 1950s, and it was called Tucker Automotive, and it was such a disaster. They made a movie about what a disaster it was. Um, and then rockets, like who does that? Like that's, there's obviously no way to start a new rocket company. Like those days are over. And then to do those at the same time. So after he pulled those two off, like, okay, fine. <laughs> like, like this is one of my areas of like, I, I, whatever opinions I had about that, that is just like, okay, clearly are not relevant. Like this is, you just, you, at some point you just like bet on the person. And in general, I wish more people would lean on celebrating and supporting versus deriding and destroying. Oh yeah. I mean, look, he drives resentment like it's it's like he he is a magnet for resentment um like his critics are the most miserable like resentful people in the world like it's almost a perfect match of like the most idealized you know technologist you know of the century coupled with like just his critics are just bitter as can be i mean it's it's i mean it's it's sort of very darkly uh comic to watch well, he uh, he fuels the fire of that by being an asshole on Twitter at times, and which is fascinating to watch the drama of human civilization, given our cult roots, just fully on fire. He's running a cult. <laughs> you could say that very successfully. <laughs>